Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about my golden hammer and a few tricks to keeping some colorful hammer corals. I live inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the ice cover. What's up, guys? It's Low Reefer. And uh, it's a summer holiday, so it's pretty hard to upload. Obviously, spending time with family and stuff. But I'm not with the tank at the moment, so I can't really make updates or anything like that. I really don't know how the tank is going. Uh, I do have a tank sitter, though. Hopefully, it's doing okay. Uh, I did promise a gold hammer video before. I don't know if you guys remember, but I decided it'd be kind of uh, pointless for just... A video about a gold hammer so i decided to make it a bit about hammer coral care thanks uh the footage is brought to you by mile high reefers and tidal gardens so thank you so gold hammer corals some people think of them as the really really bright yellow ones i think of them as like the darker more to orange kind i you guys would have seen the picture of my gold hammer in the video before Basically, it's like a dark yellow with a green and purple around it. It's pretty hard to see on video, but it's a really, really beautiful coral. Uh, I'm away from the tank, but I rearranged the hammer corals before I left to make a more compact version, more of a hammer, hammer garden type thing. So hopefully they're doing okay. I did put one of them under another hammer coral, the gray one, which is pretty big. So I hope it's receiving enough light. We'll see when we get back enough couple of weeks or something so in terms of light uh this is a quick video i mean these are pretty easy to care for so in terms of light maybe like you could keep them in like 100 to 200 par something like that they're really easy to take care of because once you see them receding you know that there's something up i use them as an indicator to do my water changes when my green hammer starts receding i know that it's time for a water change my phosphates are too high and in terms of flow, I mean, I give them enough flow for the pulps to move, for at least some form of food to get to them. I wouldn't put them in a dead spot. And I could, I would give them enough flow for them to be moving about, but not all of the pulps to be facing in one direction in a really, like, rapid fashion. So a lot of these videos you see from Tidal Gardens and Malha Reefers, the hammer corals are barely moving like enough for it to be healthy and for nutrients and everything to get to it but not too much that the tissue rips off and this does happen with hammer corals don't be afraid to try it out in new lights don't be afraid to overexpose it with light for a couple of days nothing too bad will happen but you'll always know because it will recede so there isn't much to say. I mean, th these are really f flexible in terms of flow and lighting and parameters. I mean, if you can keep an SPS coral in your tank, then you can definitely keep a hammer coral. If you can keep zoanthids, then obviously a hammer coral is a small leap, I guess. But they'll probably be doing fine. In terms of feeding, I don't feed these guys that much. I mean, you can. They'll obviously benefit from it a bit, like with uh, faster growth and that stuff but i don't really bother to feed them uh i my hammer corals i mean i can't give you real footage that's why i'm using this footage because i'm not with the tank but i hope to collect really cool color morphs like the bright green one and try colors and whatever i can make them at home i'll show you guys how i can do that in a future video so guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to follow Lil reefer don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll try to upload as much as i can during the summer holidays Lil reefer out